What's good YouTube? This video will go over the tutorial for the Apple Pencil and the Apple Notes app and all the features of the Apple Pencil. There's many great note taking apps for the iPad and your Apple Pencil. And the great thing about the Apple Notes app is that it's quite robust and designed specifically for or the Apple Pencil by Apple. And it comes free on your iPad. So no need to download another app or actually pay for another app. So let's get started here. Once you open up the Notes app, you may not have the Apple Pencil tray loaded up immediately. So what you want to do is tap on the Apple Pencil tray at the top right corner of the Notes app. From here, we'll go over the controls on the tray. At the very left, you can see that you have the undo and redo buttons. We'll go into these later as they're just a quick way to undo or redo the last action in your Notes app. Next you have the scribble pencil, next after that you have the regular pencil, after that you have the highlighter, then you have the colored pencil, and then you have the eraser. Next after that you have the ruler, and then after that of course you have your color palette, and then after that you have your quick options for the apple pencil tray. We'll go into the scribble pencil first. The scribble pencil is a great feature that has been beefed up over the years by Apple and the handwriting recognition of this pencil is really something else. So we'll start off by just writing out a quick note and as you can see your iPad will try to detect what the handwriting is saying and convert it into text. This text is fully selectable and you can copy paste it and edit it with the virtual keyboard on your iPad. Next we'll go into the actual pencil. Here you have the Apple pressure sensitive pencil that you can use to jot down notes. This will be your main workhorse that you use to make the most of your notes. As you can see, you can start scribbling notes down immediately. If you want to change the size of the Apple Pencil or change the pressure, then you can just quickly tap on the pencil and use the horizontal slider to change each. After that, you have the highlighter, which you can use to highlight over notes that you've previously made. As you can see there's a transparency so you can easily see what you've highlighted. And in the same way if you tap on the highlighter you can change the size and also the, the sensitivity of the highlighter. Next after that you have your colored pencil. The colored pencil is a great way of adding a certain color to your notes. And what's great about this is that it actually behaves like a real colored pencil. So if you use the side of your Apple Pencil tip, you'll notice that the line is a lot thicker and depending on how much pressure you put on it, it changes how dark your note is. At this point, it might be a good time to demonstrate the undo and redo features on the Apple Pencil tray as well. So as you can see, if you tap the undo button, you can undo the last sets of notes. And you can also redo as well, which is quite handy in the case you make a mistake or want to make a quick correction to any one of your notes. After the colored pencil, you have the eraser, which you can use to erase any notes. Next you have the selection tool which you can use to select notes you've made and move them around on your note and or copy them to your gallery. This is helpful if you want to save your notes or portions of your notes to use in another program or application. After that you have the ruler which you can use to add a ruler function to make straight lines on your iPad. You can adjust the orientation of the ruler and Apple, the iPad will give you a readout of what angle you're using on the ruler. This is good if you want to make straight lines using any one of the Apple pencils. And to the right of the ruler, you have the ability to make tables. If you hit the table icon, you'll notice that a table with two rows and two columns shows up. And you can add more tables by clicking on the three dots on the rows and the columns respectfully. After that, you have below that, you can change the typography of your text. And of course, you can change it to be bold, italics, and underline, and make bullet heads as, as well. From there you can also 
that you can access the three dots feature on the Apple palette. Here you can use it to quickly auto minimize your tray and you can move it around and then it will audibly, automatically minimize so it's out of your way while you're making your notes. So there you have it everyone. There's a basic overview of the Apple Notes app with the Apple Pencil with the Apple Palette. If you found this video helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.